President Biden on Tuesday laughing off these new allegations that a Burisma executive who allegedly paid uh, Joe and Hunter Biden $10 million, $5 million apiece, that he has more than a dozen audio recordings. In fact, Grassley said it was 17 recordings of conversations that he had with Joe and Hunter Biden. New records reveal then Vice President Joe Biden threw a party featuring his son Hunter and executives from Burisma just days after coming back from Ukraine. This was one of his main goals in his portfolio under the Obama administration, Ukraine. The Media Research Center finds that uh, over a four-day span last week, CBS, NBC, and ABC's morning and evening shows spent zero seconds on the Biden bribery allegations. Meanwhile, they spent nearly five hours on the indictment of President Trump. Joining me right now is Texas Congressman, member of the House Veterans Affairs, Foreign Affairs Committees, Lieutenant Colonel Keith Self. Congressman, thanks very much for being here this morning. What is your Thank reaction you, to this? I mean, these are these are among the most serious allegations ever leveled against a president, a president of the United States, where we've got allegations that this guy, when he was vice president, accepted millions of dollars from foreign adversaries in exchange for policy decisions. That is what that FBI document apparently alleges that he gave that they gave Burisma gave him five million and Hunter five million, and they made policy decisions as a result. No no reporting whatsoever on this story in the media. Your reaction? Uh, well, first of all, I'm not involved in either of the committees that are dealing with this, but we did get a briefing from James Comer, who you're having on later this morning, and the allegations uh, are actually very serious and, and I believe verified by the whistleblowers. This is not uh, just a rumor now. Uh, this is now verified. And I have to tell you that uh, this may raise to the level of treason. Because the president should act in the interest of the United States of America. He obviously is not. Now, to the uh, uh, media coverage, uh, that's what we expect. The media is in the hip pocket of the progressive left. And it is very hard for conservatives today in America, absent Fox and a few other uh, specialized media outlets, to get any news. Uh, so how does the American public uh, get their news? It, the, your worldview depends on where you get your news today. Well, this is this is just stunning, and it has real implications because what we understand to be the case is that the Biden family accepted money from communist China. And now we've got all of these provocations from communist China uh, trying to put the U.S. on its heels. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken is headed to Beijing. He, uh, he will be on the ground there on Sunday to meet with his counterpart in Beijing, a State Department official, playing down the meeting, saying that it's unlikely it's going to lead to any potential breakthroughs after what's being described as a tense call with Chinese officials yesterday. So we've got Blinken traveling all the way there for what they're saying is going to be no breakthroughs. Why? Well, don't expect a breakthrough like Nixon, uh, because this is, this is uh, obviously China and the Biden family are in this together. Uh, this is where it raises to the level of what are the interests of the United States versus China? Uh, China, we need to understand, is not becoming is becoming more than just the warehouse in the sky that Amazon delivers. They are now at least an adversary uh, on the world stage, and they intend to become the sole superpower within the next decade or so. Uh, we've got to understand that the American people need to understand that that China is extremely aggressive around the world, around the world, and they can now control several of the major choke points in the supply chain. Yeah, but the I'm, Malacca Strait, the Panama Canal. Yep. Uh, so it, it is extremely uh, concerning to me. Very concerning to us as well, particularly since they continue th with these aggressive actions. I mean, Kaylee McGee White, we've had a surveillance balloon travel across America for an entire week, sending military secrets back in real time. We have police stations here. We have TikTok. Uh, we've got all of these provocations. Now, a spy set up in Cuba to surveil American citizens. There has been no no pushback from this administration. No, and Congressman, well, the rhetoric that you often hear from this administration is that China is just another competitor. Why is it that the Biden administration is not being forthright with the public about the threat that China poses? Because they're in league with them. Uh, when you look at Russia, when you look at Ukraine, when you look at uh, China, the